Hi guys, welcome to GTA 5, and this is a quick video about how to increase your strength. We'll talk a little bit about stealth as well, and a little bit about stamina. But most of you guys should be good on your stamina. If you're running around, you're running back and forth to your cars, then your stamina should be fine. Uh, this is really just to focus on strength. Uh, these are some of the skills that I uh, have not got 100% yet, but... I uh, have a couple of tips on how to do that. There are a bunch of videos on how to do this already. This is just my take on that, on the way uh, the way you need to do to try and get this done as quickly as you can. Each, each basically, each bar for your strength um, will basically take... Um, let me just turn notifications off here quick. See a quick. I'm going to turn notifications off. Preferences. So each each bar in your in your in your in your in your. Um, skills will take about uh, half an hour to do to get up to to the max of that that bar. There's a couple of ways you can look at your bars. You can just go to stats, obviously skills, uh, and then you should be able to see what what your 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 your, your skill level is. Um, like I said, there's there's five bars there. Each one will take half an hour to do approximately. Uh, it is a bit like grinding, but uh, I've got a couple of tips. I, I kind of do kind of two things. Uh, the most common one is you go down to the beach and you beat beat the crap out of a whole bunch of NPCs. That's kind of a really fun way to do it, and, and certainly I, I recommend that's one of the ways we'll do it today. And then the second way is to create a death match, and I'll go through how to do that and what you need to do. And I kind of use both just to kind of mix it up so it doesn't become too boring. Um, so uh, why don't we start off with the death match one? I'll go through quickly. I'll, I'll create one for you um, so you can see what I do. It's a little confusing to create one, but I pretty much just click, click, click until, until, until it allows me to get through the death match. And then the second part of this is we'll head down to the beach and we'll just kind of go through and we'll beat up a whole bunch of NPCs. But just taking a look at uh, strength here quickly, I have four and a little bit of, of the bar, as you can see there. Uh, my stealth is, is low. Uh, I'm not going to really care too much about my stealth. I guess over time, maybe all I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll sort that out, but I really don't care. I really just want to get my strength up to full speed. And then maybe at lung capacity, I'll probably, I'll probably look at increasing as well. But I'm not going to talk about lung capacity. I'm really just focusing on strength in, in this video. So... Why don't we go off and, and start creating a deathmatch? Okay, so you just go to online, you go to creator. And the, the, you just want to go create deathmatch at the top. Uh, you just hit deathmatch. Um... So you get to the screen, and you just want to fill into some details. I mean, you can you can do whatever you want. We'll call it strength here in this case. Give it. A, you can just put test, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh, I think I'll spell it right. Same thing. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. You really don't need to do much here. Okay. File if you want. What we'll do is what what I recommend you do is you find. A sort of a flat area, um, and so what I'm going to do is just go and find the golf course here quick. So with the side somewhere, which will be a quick way to get here. So any flat space, any big park or anything doesn't really matter. Just go find something. The golf course is kind of nice because it's just like a big flat area. Let's see if we can get here quick. Oh, there we go. And and that's what the, the reason why you want a big flat area somewhere is just so you don't keep running around all over the, the, the place. Uh, you, you'll see when we, we get into this, what we actually want to do is we just want to, we'll kind of just run back and forth between the two NPCs, or uh, all, all the multiple NPCs, and kill them, right? So I'm just going to pick this spot here. It doesn't really matter 
exactly where we want, just like whatever. Okay. Okay, so normal. So these are the kind of things, doesn't really matter. These guys, maximum players eight, doesn't really matter. Minimum players two. Time limit you want to set to about 20 minutes. You really only need, um, you really only need about seven minutes because that's what we're going to do. And we want, we're going to do 20 kills. So as you can see, you can go much more than that. Um, with, with all the issues with Xbox timing out and all that stuff, probably 20 kills, 20 kills is probably a good number. Uh, what you want to do, once you do 20 kills, you actually want to go back to GT Online, so it actually registers with your skills. Uh, if you time out before you get to 20 skills kills, or you put this to 40 and you time out, then you, you lose it, you're going to have to start again. Okay, the next two are the, probably the most important. We want to hit here forced only, and we want to hit uh, the weapon is we're going to actually select the, the gas tank here. Uh, so let's find the jerry can. There we go. So jerry can. Very important. The thing is, if you hit, um, if you put gun, guns here or forced or you'll, you'll pick only or whatever, uh, then they actually end up shooting you that, and you don't care. Funny enough, with the jerry can, is they just sit there and, and, and you can just beat them, beat the crap out of them, right? Uh, I just like a clear day, so that's fine. Weather current, clear on, uh, you know, lobby doesn't really matter. Uh, forced camera doesn't matter as well, right? You don't want to force view. Okay. Okay. So the next one is probably the most trickiest part here. Yeah, is is where you want to actually place the triggers. Uh, you see, it puts a it puts a description at the bottom. Location where players will gather in GTA to play your deathmatch trigger to proceed. So we're just going to select a spot here. Okay, and let's pick a spot. You'll see when it turns white. That's what it's going to do. Okay. Okay. Lobby camera. Just asking for a picture here. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Sport. So the spawn points are the most important here, and 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 I'll tell you why is is if you put them all over the place, you've got to run to those locations. So when when these NPCs spawn, you you want to try to get them as close as together. And if you can, I don't think we can, but if you can, put them literally right next to each other. Okay, so let's see how close we can actually get you. Yeah, it doesn't allow us to get too close. That's what I thought it might do. But let's do it. This one's not too bad. It doesn't look like these are far apart, but they are more far, further apart than you actually think they might be. Okay, so we want to try and get these guys as close together as we can. Not a big deal if they're not too close. Don't put them too close to the water. This one's there because the problem is you go run up to them and you, you beat them and then they fall in the water and just waste your time. So it doesn't really matter if you put them right by water, that's okay. Just be aware that they might fall in. Okay. I don't know how many. I, I know we can go. I don't know if we need like that many anyway. I think you can go up to whatever number you, you kind of want to go up to. Okay, let's try 10 and see what happens. Oh, it's asking me for more, I think. Uh, maybe, you have to, maybe we have to do 20. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can put some up here. Yeah, it might be 20, maybe 20 kills or something. Okay. Eighteen. Hopefully it won't let me need to do more than 20. That would just be kind of stupid. Okay. Okay. So then for whatever reason it's forced me to do 20, there must be a reason. Okay, then it's asking for where the, where the team starts. I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, you can put it right in the middle and it kind of... when we test it. And then it's going to ask us to cycle teams. It's going to ask where the second team starts. Okay, let's see if it lets me go through. I don't know what these are. But just kind of click through whatever it asks you to do.
Okay, and then I bet you it's going to ask me to put these guys somewhere. See if it uh, still wants me to keep putting it. Yeah. I don't know how many we have to do yet. So, let's keep... so until that check mark disappears, you just have to keep on clicking whatever. Keep on doing this and. It might be okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, weapons. I don't think we really care about this stuff. Vehicles. Blah, blah, blah. So, the rest of the stuff we probably don't really care about. Okay. So, let's see. Test the test again, characters. You must you must complete a valid test. Okay. So, it's just asking us to test. And this is kind of where we're going to come into this, right? So, very easy. This is one, the first way to actually um, get some kills. Okay, it's a little bit different than, than I, I did earlier, uh, but I'm just going to quickly to my stats here and just show you again. We looked at it earlier. My stats there, as you can see, four and a little bit for my strength. Okay, so all we're going to do here is start beating these guys. Make sure that if you make sure that you if you are in passive mode, you come out of passive before you try and actually come in here to the creator because once you're in here, um, it kind of it, it doesn't allow you to go out of passive mode. So if you do come here and you can't beat up anyone, that's the reason why. Okay, so we've got two kills there. So when I did my last one, I only only one spawned at a time. But in this case, they all spawned, which is kind of good because it kind of saves you some time here. Yeah. You don't have to, you have to wait for them to spawn. Maybe there's a reason or setting I selected. Okay, so we've got four down. Okay, you just have to... You don't have to just just watch your number at the top there on the right. As soon as you got a kill, you can just move on to the next one. Okay. As you can see, when they're holding the jerry can, they actually don't move. Um, and if you select the gun and you hit the test, then uh, they actually come and they run around and start shooting you, right? So this is kind of interesting that they just stand still and let you beat them. So this typically takes about seven minutes to to do. Um, 20 kills. And once you hit them, they do actually fight back a little bit, but really they don't, they don't really resist too much, so you don't have to worry too much. Okay, as we got, we got nine so far. Got 10. It might be a little bit quicker in terms of the seven minutes. Just because they already all spawned. Uh, when I did the last one, I had to actually wait for them to spawn. Okay, 12. And, and as you can see, the spawn points are important because they're just close together. You don't have to run all over the place to go hunt them down and kill them. So if you put them all over, then yeah, that, that's kind of the reason why you want the spawn points to be kind of close. Okay, I got 14. Now, I, I didn't find, in terms of the the stealth, you might be able to sneak up, it might count. I didn't really find it really helped with this one. Like, if you go in crouch, you hit your left thumbstick and you push it down, you go into crouch mode, and then, then you can actually attack them. It might count towards that stat. Uh, I find when we're on the beach, it works better for that stat than, than in yeah. So I'm not actually sure it actually counts for the stat, but if you really wanted to try and get your... your stealth up you could actually just run behind them and go into stealth mode or just go into stealth mode um, just before you before you take them out okay I've got two more here that we have to do okay and one more Okay, and it should end at this point. Okay, so now it says you've actually completed the test. 
Uh, very important, yeah, don't just exit or try and switch screens or whatever, switch with your Xbox, whatever. Um, you you kind of want to, You first of all, you want to, you don't want to, oh, we don't want to publish that. Uh, you, you you basically want to want to save it and then oh it doesn't let me save it there maybe it saved it when you published it okay let's go out. so we want to exit at this point uh, so yes we're gonna go back to credit menu and then at this point we want to actually go back into GT Online um, because if you don't actually go back there I don't think it quite registers properly um, so let's actually quit uh, my recommendation just because of all the timeouts people are having just go back to GT Online get it to register so you don't have to redo it you don't waste your, your time when, when we did that one um, and then if it worked then you come back and yeah you do it again um, so that, again this takes, takes generally about I, I guess five to seven minutes to do uh, to, to get a quarter of your bar down um, obviously you know each bar is a four quarters so um, you know, you got to do it four times to fill up a bar. It takes you about 30 minutes, generally, uh, is, is how long it takes you to fill it up. Very easy. You, you walk in there, you, you, you beat them up. They're standing still. Uh, you know, no-brainer. Um, uh, the next one we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a look at um, is the one on the beach. Uh, that's a very common one. Same thing, just a bit more work uh, in terms of you running up and down the beach, beating everyone. Uh, it's kind of more fun, I find it, just because you kind of, uh, A, you're mixing it up between the deathmatch and the beach, and then it's also fun. Plus you get money and you get snacks and those things as an added bonus for killing the guys down on the beach. Now... The trick for the one on the beach is you must do it in a Gerald mission. If you do it in a Gerald mission, um, the cops don't come after you. If you do it in the other mission, the cops will come after you. I find Death Metal is the best one that I do. I find it doesn't lag as much. I've done the peer pressure. I know people do peer pressure just because it's right down by the beach. You're going to go down there anyway, but uh, it's your call. Just pick a Gerald mission. doesn't really matter which one. Okay, so let's take a quick look at our stats. And we'll go down to skills. And as you can you can see, it's slightly increased. So it increased by a little bit. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go through and we'll do the, the beach one and we'll, we'll see it increase a little bit more, right? Uh, in terms of the stealth, it might have increased slightly, but it didn't really increase too much, right? Okay, so uh, just another way to actually look at your stats. If you go down to online, you go to players, you can see your stats as well. If you click on yourself or anyone else, you can actually see your stats there, right? So there you go. Okay, so let's let's start up the Gerald mission. Okay, go to Jaws. As mentioned, Death Metal is my preferred one. I just find now that now that the benefit of obviously doing it in the mission of course is is uh, as you beating up all the people on the beaches, uh, you go back and you actually complete the mission and you get three thousand RP and about sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars cash depending on how long you want to wait, but if you wait fifteen minutes in you you get eighteen thousand dollars cash so that's an added benefit of actually doing it this method versus the death match but because they're so boring in general and tedious and takes so long and it's about three hours to actually get through your full strength bar if you wanted to do it from the beginning um you know you you may want to do one death match do a heist do a death match so and then um oh that didn't actually work for whatever reason and then come and do and come and do the death mess death metal match uh mission versus and just keep it fresh right let's see if we can uh fail to connect whatever reason gotta love gta
Okay, let's try this again. Just put it on hard so you can make some more money. Pretty easy mission to do as well. Actually, yeah, that's fine. If you got a Kuruma, I'd bring your Kuruma, uh, but for now, we'll just. Uh, Yeah, so we want to head down to this location. Yeah, it's right by the pier, as you can see, just right the main beach area. Anyway, along there is fine. Going there during the day is probably better. If it's sunny, there's more people running around. You can do it at night. You can do it in the, with the rain. I've done it with both the rain um, and at night time. And there, there's still people down there and enough to keep you busy for quite some time, right? So what, what I typically do is I just time myself for about seven minutes. Um, and that's, that's the time I, I give myself to actually beat up people. Um, and then after that, I go and do the, do the mission, right? So again, just, just because of all the timeouts, you may or may not time out before the end of the mission, but, uh, set your time on your, your, your phone or your watch or whatever. Uh, and just uh, all proximal just look at the time and then do it, do it for about sort of seven or seven to ten minutes and then after that go and finish the mission and come back and do it again uh, and that way you know hopefully you haven't timed out and you can get some money RP and and your strength level has increased somewhat uh, by a quarter okay so let's head down then actually you know what I'm gonna abandon this car and I'm gonna go get Okay, so you can see we're down by the beach. Okay, let me see if I can actually get my crew real quick. Oh, I might be still too close. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Yeah, uh, yeah, I knew it. Okay. Okay, so we, we're down at the beach, um, and let's do a quick check on our, our, our stats here, quick. Okay, and as you can see, it's probably, I'd say that's probably around the quarter, to be honest. Um, just at the right there, so let's go down. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna just beat people. You don't actually have to kill them. In some cases you will, you can just move on, just, just hit them, and then move on. Um, and if you kill them, great. Okay, and then we just move. That's all you want to do. You just want to punch them, move on to the next. Punch them, move on to the next. You don't have to sit there and kill them. It just takes longer. And that, 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 that's unnecessary, right? Okay, so... Okay, uh, and you want to do this. So, so I'm just going to set my time here quick for, for seven minutes. Yeah, so I've got a countdown of seven minutes going, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run along here, and we're going to beat people. Okay, now if you want to do your, you can actually do your, your, your stealth mode at the same time. So, and what you can do in that case, if someone's walking towards you, like these people yeah, or if you go behind them, they'll probably suspect me, yeah. But you go into crash mode, and it's best to get them from the front. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, and that will just help you as well. So you're going to cross mode, hit your left thumb tick down. If they got their back towards you, even better. Um, you can do it in front just because they're not paying attention as well. Like that would, I think, would count towards a stealth kill. You can actually tell. Typically, a stealth is when they, they, you beat them on the shoulder and they just fall down with one shot. That's generally a stealth kill, right? So. Yeah, these guys, as soon as they start walking fast, then you know it's too late. But let's see if we can get someone here walking. Like this guy, for instance. But he is walking. Probably when you go... Like that. So you hit them on the, on, on the shoulder, and they're down, and that'll go towards your stealth status. Okay. Okay. Let's keep on doing. As soon as I start running. Like that. Very nice. Just make sure he's crouching. Again, they stop you with one shot. And generally they die with the crouch kill. I wish this, these guys don't. Nice. Now if you want to add some fun, there's a couple of guys down on the beach that are working out and they do actually fight back. So those guys are kind of fun to beat up. There's some lifeguards there and stuff. Adds it to the entertainment. Oh, you got lucky there. Okay, let's keep going. And this strip's pretty long, so you can go from one end to the other and then come all the way back. And you'll find people all the way along them. Loads. As you can see, it's night time and there's still lots of people here. You gotta love the ones that actually wanna beat you back. Yeah, if you don't kill them, then they, they tend to wanna hit you back, but. So this is at the end of the one side, so we can just literally turn around, head all the way back. Oh, and there's a couple of guys that upset you. Let's take them out, yeah. Not stuck. Not good enough, though. And as you can see, we're making some money. Some snacks sometimes will show up. Let's do a stealth, yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's on to me. This guy's all worked up. Stealth kill that. Stealth in a row. Okay, we'll get these guys yet. Yeah. <laughs> See if we can go find those guys on the beach. They're probably not yet. Yeah, they're probably the lifeguards are probably here yeah, during the day, I guess. But there might be some guys working out there.
fucker! Yeah, look at the guys. They, they normally are hanging around here, yeah, but uh, I suspect they probably won't be here. Yeah. But let's go see anyway. Yeah, I don't see anyone here. Yeah. But yeah, if you come here during the day, then you'll see a bunch of guys working at you yeah, and you can beat them. Do a stealth, yeah. I love how they start walking fast <laughs> and then they start running as you get close. Okay, so that, that's about seven minutes that we did that. Um, kill the last one, yeah. And you can go on, you can do about 10 minutes, uh, like I said, the mission is if you wait until 15 minutes and you don't tend to time out, then yeah, you might as well wait till 15 minutes to get that done there. Um, but let, let's take a quick check here. And I'll look at my stats. And as you can see, you, you see that, that the strength has literally gone another quarter. I'm almost halfway uh, there, which is pretty good. It's pretty decent. It doesn't take too much time. I'm just going to run up here, see if I put myself further away from the car. And then we will do... Oh, a few more guys, yeah. Done. Uh, stealth there. No way. Come yeah. Come. And you can go all the way down here, yeah. in fact, I uh, just keep on going. Um, there's normally people, yeah, it's definitely during the day. A whole bunch of people all the way down here until the parking lot. That's probably as far as I would go. And then I'd head away, head back. Oh, and as you can see, I just timed out, so um, that didn't help me at all. Uh, so I just lost out uh, on, on that $16,000. But that's typically two ways that I would do it. Um, just switch between the death match and and uh, and and doing doing the death match or mission. Um, uh, just mix it up. It is a little tedious to get through it, uh, but uh, it definitely does raise your stats. It's, it's relatively quickly. Uh, I, I put it around seven minutes for a quarter of each of the, each of the bars, half an hour for the full bar, and about approximately three to four hours for for the entire. If you're starting from the scratch, probably three to four hours from the entire entire bar. So there you go. Hope hope you found the video useful. I, I did do a whole bunch of research to see if there's any better ways to do this, but I, I couldn't find any other ways to actually. Um, to make this quicker than than these two ways so the deathmatch really easy you don't have to do much you just walk around you, you beat them that's probably the easiest way and then uh but it does get get tedious and boring pretty quick and then yet yeah, to do the mission and then you know do a heist or do a mission in between that just to keep it so you don't don't get too bored right but anyway thanks for watching if you liked the video hit the, uh, the like button and please consider subscribing to the